outside. Good morning, everyone. I just woke up and I laid in bed for a little bit. I, <laughs> as you can tell, Leonard loved kisses and cuddles. I just got back from Paris. I went to Paris for E10's birthday. That was his birthday gift. <laughs> Thank you, Leonard. And it was really nice. I didn't vlog it because I just wanted to like spend time with him. And it was really, really nice. Our flight home actually got canceled. That's never happened to me before. I've never had a flight canceled before. So I didn't even know what to do. They originally booked us on a flight two days later. And I was like, that is not going to work. We ended up switching it for a flight that was the next day. And it actually worked out because we had a really nice day. We went to the Louvre and we just walked around. And it was the nicest day in Paris, like the weather-wise. And so it was like a blessing in disguise. Um, but we had to switch hotels. We had to switch, you know, it was just a big... Thing that I wasn't expecting. Whenever I come home, I'm feeling a lot more motivated and now's a really exciting time because we're going into the holidays at CNC, which is my absolute favorite time of year. I wanna show you guys some things that I've been loving recently. I've just been really feeling motivated to film. Not that I wasn't feeling motivated to film, I just literally did not have the time with CNC and like preparing for all the upcoming holiday stuff. I literally did not have the time to film or edit and even vlogging like there was just nothing fun going on i didn't leave my desk if you're wondering why leonard has no hair it's because he has alopecia it's enjoying this weather for the last few mornings because i know soon enough it's going to be way too freezing in canada i'm really happy that the weather's finally starting to cool down so i can wear some of my coats it's still not even coat weather one of my goals this week is to get all of my clothing up for that I'm selling on a website. So I'm not going to be doing it through Depop or Poshmark because they take such a big percentage. It, it doesn't even, it's not worth it for me. It's not worth it for you. Um, and then I can control shipping more. So I'm going to be doing a website. I have so many coats. I wish you guys could just like literally come to my house. I have all this stuff. Nobody needs all that. And that's why I kind of haven't been doing many clothing hauls, which is my most requested video on my channel. And now that I'm getting back into YouTube, I'm definitely going to do more styling videos um, with the clothes that I have, shopping your closet, how to make the most use out of it. That was my whole goal <laughs> at the beginning and like the end of spring, beginning of summer, but it was just a crazy busy summer. So all that to say, I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to be selling and I'm going to work on the website when I get to the office today, which I'm going to bring you, give you guys like a little update, a little tour. I have to work on posting some new items on CNC. And we have a new watch collection coming out. I know we just had a watch collection, but I was smart this time and I, I ordered both collections for the year. Normally we do two watch collections a year. I ordered both, both collections at the same time <laughs> because the watches are handmade. And so each watch collection takes about four or five months to make. Um, and there's, you know how things are. There's always delays, always issues. Um, and now we're waiting on our watch boxes, which are actually en route to us. And as soon as we get them, we can release our watches. I'm so excited for these watches, you guys. I always put a show on for Leo. I don't know why. He definitely does not watch it. You're going to watch Emily in Paris today. He finished Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I don't know. I always feel like I need to put a show up for him. Okay, so I just finished editing my reel that I had to submit actually last night. <laughs> but I was way too exhausted to edit it. To edit my reels and honestly, any content that I make, I use Final Cut Pro. I used to use iMovie like, oh my gosh, years and years ago. And if you create any type of content, I would really recommend switching to Final Cut just because you can do a lot more in, in terms of color correction and also in terms of layering edits on top. I don't do anything crazy. It just makes your life so much easier. It was a reel for Killian for the holidays, which is absolutely insane that I am collabing with Killian. Angel Share is by far, this is not sponsored by Killian, but Angel Share is by far my favorite scent for the holidays. Speaking of fragrances, I thought we can go through a few of them of my favorite ones for the fall time. And um, it hasn't really changed, but I do have ex an exciting development. Um, this is kind of like fall and the holidays. If you don't like spicy, warm, delicious scents, you are going to absolutely hate all of these and think they're vile. This, this is my favorite time of year because these are my favorite scents. I literally want to smell like a cookie. So that's why I love this. The one I wear honestly the most, it's tied between this one and the next one I'm going to show you, is Angel Share. This is not sponsored by Killian. I actually, when they first released this, 
I was on a hunt for it. I ordered it from Holt Renfrew. They canceled my order. I tried getting it. It was sold out everywhere and I kind of just gave up. I was like, it's not meant to be. So it's just crazy to think that now I get to work with them. It's literally a dream. The first thing I smell is definitely like a cinnamon. It's very cinnamony. It's very spicy. I do get like a little bit of gingery, even though that's like a, not a top note that's listed on it. So this one is amazing and it's really tied for me with Maison Francis Curtijan's Grand Soir. They're really known for obviously Baccarat rouge which i don't really wear as much anymore and i don't want to say that's because everyone is wearing it but i literally smell it everywhere and i'm not a perfume snob i'm not going to i don't care if you wear the same perfume as me i'm not going to try to hide it when you ask like the, I truly believe the more people that smell amazing in the world, the better. But it's just not like as special at, to me anymore. And I'm kind of, not that I'm over it, but it's like I have so many fragrances that I'm not rushing to repurchase Baccarat Rouge. But Grand Soir to me is just, oh, they're so similar, but they're so different. This one is definitely a lot spicier, whereas this one I feel is just a lot sweeter. I don't know, this one gives me feelings that nothing else in the world gives me. This one for me, even though it's on the more intense side, I like wearing it during the day because it has more of those cinnamon scents, whereas I feel like this one is a lot sexier. When you first smell this, it is very masculine. I have to say it's more on the masculine side, but when you actually spray it on your skin, it turns very sweet kind of like caramelly and you only need i swear one spray of this and you will smell like it for days it is so good this is a favorite of mine all the time it is nimat vanilla musk we actually sell this at cnc if you are looking for it in montreal we sell it in our store oil um here this is the amber oil it is a true vanilla it doesn't smell like bath and body works vanilla it really smells like a true vanilla and it smells so good now another one of my favorite vanilla scents is kaoli vanilla i don't wear this as much as i once did because let me tell you a story this was the fragrance i first i was wearing all the time when i started dating my ex-boyfriend and now whenever i smell it unfortunately that is literally all i think about crazy to me how fragrances can bring back so many memories like when i smell it i'm literally transported into that time and not that that was a bad time you know a beginning of a relationship is never a bad time but i just know what it led into and that is not a memory i want to have i will recommend this so if you're looking for a good vanilla this is so good i feel like it's a lot sweeter than the vanilla musk what i'm really here to talk about is this this is Jo Malone Ginger Biscuit. I got this, I want to say, maybe four years ago. I have been savoring it. You can see, still see, I have a lot left of it because I didn't know if they were going to bring it back. And then the next year, they didn't bring it back. The year after that, they didn't bring it back. And I was like, I'm going to have to keep this one bottle. It's probably going to go bad forever. This one is very different than Angel Share. This one is very, very spicy. This one smells more like a biscuit. Like, a cookie this one i want to take a bite out of myself like it is i i just can't get enough of this one you only need one spray it is quite a powerful scent i'm so grateful that they are bringing it back we have at cnc we have this perfume oil brand that is dupes of a lot of amazing fragrances and we do have two of the joe malone fragrance english parent freesia and wood sage, sage and sea salt they smell identical i'm going to ask them if they can make a dupe of ginger biscuit i always love picking up a new fall scent a new holiday scent and one year i picked up this one and i remember i think it was what is her name oh she used to be a spice girl what is her name not a spice girl a cheetah girl adrian um balin is that how you say her name? Anyways, she was talking about how this is her favorite scent. Now, I'm not going to recommend this one to you. Out of all of my spicy fragrances, this is my least favorite. These are both extremely spicy, but the difference between 11th Hour and Angel Share is that Angel Share has tonka bean and it has hazelnut and all of those notes that really make it very gourmand at the same time and very delicious whereas this one smells like straight spice the only real time i use this is literally right around christmas because that is when i feel like it's the spiciest time of year i don't know okay this this is the logic that goes through my head it doesn't make sense this would not be the perfume i would recommend if you're looking for a spicy scent and this is not a perfume i would recommend if you're looking to get one from byredo i just don't think it's their best if you're looking to get one from byredo i would recommend going with gypsy water or bibliotech oh okay so also with our oils at cnc we have 
um, a lot of Byredo scents. So we have Gypsy Water, Bibliotech, oh, Mojave Ghost. <laughs> um, so this is the one for Bibliotech, and it smells identical. Finally, my fall and holiday fragrance for this year, which I actually got as a gift from Nikki and Allie, is Amber Nui from Dior. Dior has some amazing fragrances. One of my all-time favorite um, summer fragrances is Rouge Trafalgar. You can see I literally have like the giant size of it. Not by choice. It's literally all they had. Who needs this much perfume? This one is very fall very I want to say intense gives you those same feelings this one is not spicy at all so it has a completely different feel from um, Angel Share especially kind of more similar to Consoir it's sweet and it's ambery and it's intense and it's just perfect and I am the worst at describing fragrances I know that so make sure you actually spray it on yourself and don't just smell it like from the bottle because fragrances will interact with your skin and smell a million times better or worse depending on your skin anyways it is 10 54 now and i am still not ready for work don't mind me i just got out of the shower i've been having to shower in my spare bathroom because my shower exploded and i'm not just saying that it literally the glass door exploded another body favorite of mine is this minim la body scrub in vanilla coconut this is laura lee's brand and i have never found a body scrub that i love as much as i love this i'm always fake tan so i don't use this every time but when i'm trying to get my fake tan off i put this on and i use it with my exfoliating glove and it suds up really nice that's the reason i love it it's not like it's not oily, it suds up and you feel really clean. It works amazingly at getting the your tan off. The exfoliation is very fine, so it really gets in there. It's not like little bees or anything, so it melts into this like amazing soap. Even if you use this when you have a fake tan, it's gentle enough that it's not going to like strip away your fake tan. But then at the same time, if you use it with your exfoliation mitt, it is just the perfect, perfect, perfect exfoliation. So the reason I was doing an intense exfoliation is that tonight I wanted to try this. I picked this up in the States as well at Ulta. The B Tan Glow Your Own Way Enriched with Hyaluronic Acid Vitamin C Self Clear Tan Gel. I haven't been spray tanning recently just because I ran out of spray tan solution, but I have to order. I'm going to put my jewelry back on. This is a new bracelet from CNC. It is to freaking die for it is so beautiful it has three little flowers and it's giving you know it gives kind of like the van cleef vibes but it's not clover it's, it's just little little flowers it's so beautiful and then we also have a matching necklace which is just stunning like i'm obsessed with this some new rings we will be restocking our luxe collection like the canary and all of that real soon but we do have some new rings i'm obsessed with this one. Oh my god look at this sample from years ago i don't even know why i still have this of a luxe ring look how big that is look how big that is as i have been like looking into like obviously i do a lot of research on diamonds and crystals and the best crystals to use i have decided like I don't want a diamond for my engagement ring and if I do it has to be lab grown. I do not want an actual diamond and to each their own like some for some people that is super important but based on what I know I just watched a documentary I'll leave a link down below about the difference between lab and natural diamonds and obviously natural diamonds are grown in the earth and lab diamonds are grown in a lab. Chemically they are identical the price difference between lab and natural diamonds is insane the same diamond that you would have to spend fifty or sixty thousand dollars on which is crazy you can get for like under ten thousand dollars and literally no one would know the difference and at this point because of everything going on in the industry and obviously corrupt people there's so many lab grown diamonds that have been mixed in with natural diamonds without a serial number so you could be thinking you're paying for a natural diamond but you're actually getting a lab grown diamond it's crazy i mean if it's important to you to have a natural diamond then obviously get a natural diamond honestly like literally whatever makes you happy but for me i would much rather take that money and invest it or buy a home or literally do anything with it now the big thing about diamonds is that they hold their value but diamonds don't hold their value unless like only very specific diamonds hold their value i hate the logic of like holding their value and also like kind of like an insurance policy if you're going into a marriage thinking about having your ring as an insurance policy um 
I have news for you. It's not a good sign. If you're thinking of getting a natural diamond because they hold their value, you're much better off taking the money you would have spent on a natural diamond and investing it in anything else. <laughs> Literally all of E10's friends got um, engaged with them. It was super important that they had natural diamonds and I think that is great for them. It works for them. I'm happy they have their natural diamonds and their rings are absolutely beautiful. But yeah, can you imagine this as a natural diamond? Like, unless you have infinite amount of money to spend. Two Sharon, you know? Literally two Sharon. The one good part about me showering in my other bathroom is that this shower stays a lot cleaner. So I have been a longtime fan of Necessaire body cream. Their body serum and body oil especially. I've gone through probably like 10 of them. But I found this cream from Walmart and this oil from Walmart that literally smells like heaven i need a perfume in this scent it's from vaseline it's the radiant x deep nourishing 100 percent pure shea butter with coconut oil vitamin c and peptides i have never smelled anything like a body cream this good in my life it's a great cream but i just love how it smells and the body oil smells identical and it just leaves your skin so glowy and so Soft. I think I started like grinding my teeth. I don't know if I've been stressed or something, but I have noticed like it looks like I got jaw filler and I swear I did not get jaw filler, but this part of my face has gotten like so wide. And also I stopped getting Botox and brow lifts and I feel like for so long I was used to my face being like lifted like this. So now it's not lifted and it looks makes my cheek look like I got like cheek filler. And I was like, did I get filler in my cheek in my sleep because I haven't done anything to my face except I did put a tiny little bit of lip filler back in but I didn't touch anything else on my face and it looks like I got cheek I swear on my life I did not get any filler in my face and I was like what is going on I look I have like these intense <laughs> this intense jaw and these cheeks oh I wanted to show you guys the fake tan that I use this was it the um, Platinum Ultimate Self Tanning Mousse Professional Strength Quick Dry Maximum Tan for Experienced Self Tanners Only. It was really good. So I've had it on for a week now and I, I've scrubbed and it, I still look tan. It wasn't fading um, badly except on my feet, but that could be my fault because I think I put too much on my feet. But I really like this one. So I'm going to test out that new one tonight and I'll let you guys know tomorrow morning how I feel about it. But if you're in the market for a new fake tan, I like that one. One of my favorite tips for cinching a sweater. So as you can see here, I have my sweater on and then I have these Frankie Shop pants on, which I actually just hemmed with hemming tape. So I will show you guys how to do that maybe today or tomorrow. Um, but instead of, don't mind my mess. Instead of like tucking a shirt, a sweater in, I got these bands a long time ago on Amazon. They're just like this. So you put it here, make sure it's not too tight because you don't want it to like bother you. And then you tuck the sweater into that. And then you can just pull it until you have the look that you want. Make sure you check out the back though. You don't want it to look crazy. Much better. I know I showed you that outfit, but I actually just wanted to wear something super comfy today. So I'm wearing this set from Lululemon. The colors don't show up the exact same on camera, but in person they're the exact same. From Lululemon because they have these like bands on them that are just super flattering. I need to cut this thing off. And even if I'm wearing something super casual like this, I obviously have to have my jewelry on. So I have these large rain earrings. And then for my watch, I think I'm going to go... Oh, my favorite one is not here at the moment. I have to locate that. I might go with the gold and pearl. This is part of our holiday collection. We haven't restocked this one in a long time, but it is so stunning. It's gold and then it has a mother of pearl dial it's not picking up the mother of pearl i lied that watch is in size yet so i'm gonna wear the 28 millimeter gold on gold president and for a perfume today because i was reminded of how amazing it is i'm going to wear consoir from maison francis curtis you really only need a little bit and make sure it gets on your skin because that's when the true magic happens and for the road i'm going to take my new favorite energy drink it is the alani new halloween edition but of course if i get hungry i need a snack and these are my absolute favorite things to bring to work hello welcome 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 
Hi, Bob the Builder. Allie was really good. <laughs> I took pictures of her with the nail hat. I was happened. wondering what you guys were doing in here. I kept getting motion detection on my phone. I'm having a dance party. Yeah. Like, <laughs> a little issue. Look at you with the drill. What's the issue? Because they're just not as smooth as I think they can be, but we followed the instructions to instructions <laughs> to a tv so we got a new table for our tape machine you're gonna put the printer on here no no so basically we just wanted another sort well we had a small little ikea table that was really low mm -hmm. another item that bob the builder made and it just wasn't super comfortable when we were taping and mm -hmm. we just weren't really making great use of the wall because i think if you can double stack you know right because we just had the table and then we had these things on the side but it wasn't making great use and sometimes, you know, this table can get pretty overwhelming. So now we have a whole extra setup mm -hmm. and the bags go underneath, which is really good. This is Allie's favorite purchase for the office. It is our pride and joy. We got this after our first watch launch and we taped, you want to tell the story? So our first watch launch, it was Nikki, Tony, and I, and we... It's still Nikki, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> we packaged like hundreds of boxes. And at the end of the night, we taped all of them up. And at that time, we didn't even have a tape machine, so we had to physically cut each tape. Because it's water-activated tape. It's water-activated tape. Um, and so we had to cut each piece of tape and then have a sponge that we would wet the tape and then tape the boxes. And if you purchase from our first watch launch, we Tony had these special boxes made, and they were sort of... They weren't glossy, but it was a like, bit. almost like a NARS packaging finish, mm -hmm. like satiny. And I, at the time, the office was in my home, and... We, I walked in in the morning, and all of the tape had unrolled. It was quite an investment, mm -hmm. but it's we've had it for years, and yeah, it's so worth it. Same with this printer. It yeah. we used to have like a regular printer, and it would print like one paper a minute, mm -hmm. and now we could print like so many. I keep playing with that. I think the more you. Oh, they changed like the tracks. The tracks are the same, but a lot of the pieces were different and just like more, like took up less time than when mm. we did it. Give you guys an update that on there in a second. Our bats are, wow, just falling all over the place. So Nikki and I also kind of changed it around. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, but the, we're going to need a solution for like, these cables because they're not it. There's a lot of a Goldie dish. A lot of a goldie here. I have more bags even in my car. So yeah, I'm gonna start making the website for this. Well, also they can come and shop in the store too. Yeah, of course you can come and shop in store. There's um, a lot of stuff. But Nikki was saying possibly getting shelves for like jeans or sweatpants. Shelves like like what kind? Like the white melamine. So okay. Um, because if the tables take up a lot of room. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's a really small room, so we need to go up instead mm. of out. Um, and I think that, like, if but we But you don't, you don't think we should maybe put this room in the... Listen, that's what I said Monday. I just feel like the photo shoot area is, like, really small and mm -hmm. could fit here. Yeah. It just, do you feel comfortable with people going behind to that area of the office? That's what I said. That's what it's Mom said. It's a little we, bit, like, I feel like it's even better because it's closer to the cat like where we are you know mm -hmm. yeah I don't care so the desk is a little bit of a mess but we got um, originally I got this rug for out in this area but the lighting in here made it look fluorescent green but in here it looks really nice you guys remember this desk from um, Ikea which I need to clean it's always a mess in here and then I got that tree from Amazon a rack I need to put some stuff on it here I'm not sure if you guys saw we got these mirrors from ikea so they're actually the same one same ones i have in my um, bedroom but now they make it in black so we just got two of them because you know to see the jewelry on we have our halloween slippers um some candles our bats are falling down our little halloween decorations you know the usual this i don't think there's anything new here i've been loving this dry brush and then these are our new little jewelry travel pouches which roll up and they're perfect for travel. You could put your necklaces, your earrings, your rings, your watch. And then these are the perfume oils I was talking about today. So these are all the different ones we have. Um, you can find them. I'll leave them linked. The Nimat, the candles, and then, of course, all of the jewelry. 
And then this little island here for the cache is actually a kitchen island that we turned into the cache. It's like absolutely perfect. It even has, I like this like paneling on the front. It has this faux marble on the top. And the sign is from Etsy. It's from the same place for the sign on the wall. We got it for there and I think it looks yeah, super. We're in the process of switching to rooms over, but we got our shipment of watch boxes so we can release our next watch collection. Um, we've had the same watch boxes since the beginning. They're just like perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. Why change something that's not perfect? But one issue that we did have is that in, on the sleeve, they didn't used to come in, uh, wrapped in plastic. <laughs> Leonard, Leonard came into work today, um, and so the top of the box would get like a little bit discolored, but now it's all perfect. I'm gonna have to let Sophia know. So we got three boxes out of many more, mm. so they're on different flights, so hopefully the rest show up. But it works out because things are in a little bit of disarray this week. Do you want me to show the... Yeah, so this is, this used to be, you guys saw the old room with the clothes, and it just was not big enough. And then we realized that the photo area was like uh, taking up a really small portion in that room. So we moved it here. There's also, I feel like, better lighting. Mm -hmm. That room Natural felt lighting. Really dark for some reason. So we're gonna have our little photo studio, and then that's our box to take pictures of the jewelry. And then in here, we're putting all of the clothes. So. Ali and I are gonna go to Walmart and get some more racks. Okay, so uh, do you wanna head over to Walmart? Yeah. At Ali's new favorite Walmart? Mm hmm. It feels like the United States. It does? Mm hmm. And do you have the tagging gun? What's on your clipboard? Oh, everything. Holiday 2023, checklist, arrival dates, um, holiday schedules. I got these really cute papers from the dollar store that are all col colorful. colorful. <laughs> Leonard, what's your OTD of the day? Cashmere sweater. This is the one we're building now. It's going well. We finished a shoe one. It's pretty easy, you know? Yeah, you just have to follow the directions. I'm getting really good at building. How's it going? It's, it's going. It's definitely going. This is rack number... Four. After a long day of blood, sweat, and tears, it's finally organized somewhat. We have, this is just like a big smorgasbord of stuff. Dresses, sweatshirts, pants, skirts, tops, jackets. Bathing suits. Bathing suits. Um, on this wall we have jackets, jeans. Um, and then underneath we have a bin of things that are five dollars, a bin of things that are ten dollars. But no, you need to get a close up. Of no, but stuff. start cutting, and then I'm gonna zoom okay. in. This is not gonna go well. I can already tell. <gasps> you like being a videographer? Okay. Yeah, I love it. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not as satisfying as I was anticipating. There you go. Are you excited to eat? Very excited. Alrighty, so it's Friday. I feel like this is gonna be the last little day of the vlog and I'm just getting ready because I have, we're open today. Normally, like I'm like, I'm not gonna see anyone. I don't really care how I look. But on Fridays, we have people come into shop and now we have um, people coming into shop to close. So it's going to be a little bit more intense, but I got this new little set from Aerie that I wanted to show you guys. I did my nails this morning, some press-ons. They didn't go that well. There was I ended up getting glue like all over them, and then I had to do a top coat on them, but it all worked out. Like they're they're nice. They're very fall. Look how cute this little loungy set is. I have to put my nipple stickers on. These are actually the first time I'm wearing these, these brown New Balances. You know, my sunglasses from the gate. I tried that, you know, fake tan and my verdict is in, like I don't like it. I just don't like a fake tan that doesn't have um, a color guard because I my arms are so streaky and like, like look at that. I don't know if you can tell, but so streaky and 
why would I use that when I can use something that like looks good every time? I remember one time I talked about how I was like fake tanning or I feel my best when I'm tanned and I got this whole message saying like you should not promote tanning and um, don't you shouldn't tell people they need to tan first of all when have I ever told anyone that they need to do anything I'm the biggest advocate of like doing whatever makes you happy. I'm gonna wear this ring um, Literally do whatever makes you happy and that's all that matters as long as you're not hurting anyone as long as you're not hurting yourself do whatever makes you happy? Do you think I care whether you're pale or you're tanned? I wish the biggest issue in this world right now was whether you were pale or you were tanned. But just for me personally, I feel so much better when I am tanned. Like who doesn't want to look snatched and toned and glowy? But I also wish, like there's also people who look so good when they're pale. I wish I was one of those people. At Walmart trying to figure out which candy to buy for the office. So far I got this one. Ooh. I think this is the one we got last time. My favorite chocolate ever is Krispy Crunch. How's it going, Nikki? How's your retail shift going? My retail shift is very successful. I was shocked. Today there was a few girls waiting outside the door for when we opened. At, and I arrived at 10.30 and we opened at 11. And then tonight we're going to both watch the Love is Blind finale. Separately in text during... I have to say though, this season has not been my favorite. Apparently they're having Love is Blind UK coming out soon though. What'd you say? The boss is calling. How can I be of service? Oh, I hate to break it to Nikki, but guess where has spinach and artichoked it? Where? Milestones. <laughs> okay, can we go after work? Yeah. You wanna go? Yeah. Yeah, we can go. Let's look at the menu. It looks real good. I think it looks they good. They have a French onion soup. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I just got home. It is 7.14 p.m. Feels like midnight. Fridays are always so exhausting. After work, I had to do some, make some returns at the mall. Um, well, just Zara, and I ended up obviously buying something, so I'm gonna show you that. Um, I had to get some more coffee. This is something I got at the grocery store. Spreadable feta. Never saw that before. But I ran into the espresso and picked up some more coffee. And then I came home to some packages. So I thought I would open them with you guys. I'm so annoyed because Ali, me, and Nikki ordered the new Rode tinted lip peptide things. And it says they were delivered, but they were not delivered. I checked my mailbox. I know my, one of my neighbors is like sitting there enjoying the road lip peptides. I opened up Claim with Canada Post, but sometimes that just happens. And the only thing you can do is open a Claim with Canada Post and then contact them. I got this little bag from Zara. It is so stinking cute. It's the perfect little size. I only really wear small bags and I love the shape of this one. I love a top handle. I love shirling. I love brown leather. Um, so I know this is gonna be a really cute little everyday bag. I also have it in black, but I didn't see the black one in store. Anyways, I would have gotten the brown one anyways. And then I went to Airy and I got this set that I'm wearing in a cream color. It's the only one they had in my size. So I got the pants and I got the top. I just like, it was so comfy all day. I felt so cute. And then I also saw these, which, so my nipple stickers that I was literally talking about this morning are like a dupe or they're inspired by this brand, which is B6. Like that's how I first saw these nipple stickers, but these ones are the nipple stickers with a lift. Now who doesn't want a little lift in your life? And I'm assuming you like put it on, pull and stick. So I'm gonna wait for a time when I need a good lifting, but so smart. Oh my gosh, we went to Baskin and Robbins after dinner um, because I was craving something sweet and they're mint chocolate chip. I'm not a mint chocolate chip ice cream girl. Like it, it the flavor is a little off-putting. And I, I understand why someone would not think that sounds good. But the only place that has amazing mint chocolate ice cream is Baskin Robbins. It's like unlike anything you will ever have. It is so good. And then I got my Sephora order. So I wanted to test out a lot of things before, or a few things I've been eyeing before I make my recommendation video for the sale. So I placed this was a late night order. I got a lot of stuff. 
got a lot of stuff. Okay, the first thing I got, we'll do a little Sephora haul, is this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette. I haven't tried one of these palettes in a really long time. I had the one that was marble and I don't remember loving it, but I see everyone talking about these palettes and I feel like I just have like, I would do my makeup so differently back then. And you know, it was like 2016, like very heavy. I feel like I'm just gonna have a greater appreciation for it. So there's different ones. I didn't want the one with the squid on it, but the colors just made the most sense for me. I really wanted the one with the leopards on it, but oh, this is really pretty. But these colors just made the most sense. So we have the bronzer. I was really excited about these highlight ones, the um, blushes, and it's a good mirror. This was really pricey. So I wanted to test it out because the sale is gonna be up to 20% off. This honestly, I haven't heard anyone talk about, but it sounds so good. How good does this sound? Warm cinnamon shimmering whipped body oil. <sighs> Literally nothing sounds better. How am I supposed to get this out? I haven't tried anything from Fenty Skin. I was intrigued by the packaging. Look how nice that packaging is. Okay, moment of truth. If this doesn't smell good, I'm gonna cry. Okay, well, it smells like nothing. Feels nice. Ooh, ooh. It's very faint, but it feels, it feels very nice and moisturizing. Very faint, it's actually very nice. Not overpowering, I don't see any shimmer. I don't, ooh, but it makes my hand really soft. I don't know, I'm gonna test that out on my body and see, cause it was quite pricey. I got the, um, the Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum with lipids, vitamins, Phyto Technologies and Epidermal Repair. Nikki said this is the best thing ever, so. If Nikki says, I need to try it. This Nikki also showed me this and I was like, that is so cool. So it's from Makeup Forever. I love their pencils. They have some of the best pencils ever. I love them because they're kind of like an all-purpose pencil. You can use them on your lips, you can use them on your eyes, you can use them on your brows. So in this little kit, so in this little kit, you get a black one, a white one, a dark brown one, and then two of their basic nudes. I think it was Wherever Walnut and Anywhere Caffeine. Next, I got the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Caramel Apple. I don't need another lip sleeping mask, okay? But this one was intriguing to me. Ooh. That smells better than I was anticipating. The color feels a little scary. It's like orangey. Oh, mm. okay, that, I wanna eat that. Whoa, I'm so happy they came out with a different fall scent because last year it was pumpkin spice and that one smelled like curry. And I'm curry's number one fan. Like I love a good curry, but I just don't want it in lip balm form. So I'm happy that there's another fall scent. Okay, so the next thing I got is a Tower 28 Serum Concealer. Apparently this is like the concealer of the moment. I have to say, I know it's crazy to say this, I tried the House Labs concealer and it, it, I was not wowed by it. I didn't think it was like anything to write home about, but this concealer apparently is the best one. So, oh, that color is a little scary. It's very liquidy and smooth. Okay, I can see how that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna try this tomorrow. Monochrome Moment Precision Lip Crayon in She's Strong. I already know I like this. I've already had this. I used it all up. All of his lip crayons were sold out for so long. I stopped checking. What I like about this is that it's a push one and then it's also a cool on a cool angle so it's really easy. I don't know if you can see. It's really easy to kind of use as a lipstick as well and this is a really nice like this is the perfect brownie nude color. I just remember absolutely loving this lip pencil. Patrick Ta doesn't make anything bad. So speaking of Patrick Ta, I got his, I don't know if this is new, but I got his eyeshadow palette. I don't have an eyeshadow palette that I absolutely love, so this one looked very cool because, oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So you have all of your like darker tones, you see down here, and then you have all of your glitters and shimmers. But what's really cool is that on this side, you have little creams. So you can use them as like a cream shadow, you can use it as a liner, you can use it to intensify your shimmer. Okay, and then speaking of Patrick Ta, I got his nose contour brush. I have his regular face contour brush and I love it. Every time I try to contour, it doesn't end well. So I'm hoping that this little moment here will 
help me out. I don't know how people contour their nose without making it look like a muddy mess. Okay, two more things. I really went wild here. Face primer, the Refi face primer. This one also has been sold out forever. It's that really cool one that has this like rolly thing. And then the last thing I got is this Merit eyeshadow. My sister said she hadn't heard amazing things about this. So I don't know. We can always return it. It's like a brownie color. I don't wear like dark eyeshadow. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that kind of felt like mud. Oh, but that's actually really pretty. Oh, okay, and it blends out really nicely. I feel like on your lid, for like an all over color, that'll be really nice. Anyways, I'm gonna go get changed, take my makeup off, and then I'm sitting on the couch for the rest of the night, not moving and watching Love is Blind. So I'm gonna close out this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I It has felt so good to vlog again. I don't even, I don't know why I stopped. Like, I, I guess for a long time, I was like, nobody cares. I'm doing such like mundane things, but I forgot that I used to literally just like talk to you guys as if you were my best friends and as if we were just like catching up. And I look back when I was vlogging a lot, that was like the happiest time of my life. And these past two days, I felt like that again. And the only difference is because I feel like I get to talk to you and I do something and I'm like, I need to tell you guys about it. And I, I might sound crazy, but it really, you guys really do make my life so much better. And I really, I'm so grateful for all of you. Anyways, let me know in the comments, do you enjoy these types of vlogs? And if yes, what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see some cooking? Do you want me to show more outfits in my vlogs? Do you want some more house updates, even though there's not that much going on in my house right now? Um, just let me know anything you want to see. Leave it in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. I love you, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye.